thou should obey thy parents. Mom. Her and Dad went to go see Grandpa and me. So when will they be back? A week. Awesome. Mom says no parties. Who said I was going to have a party? You were the one that threw the party at Bridget's house. She helped. Yeah, but you still got in big trouble. That was Sue's fault. She's such a snitch. Whatever. So what chores did Mom believe for us this week? We have to clean the attic. The attic? I'm not going up there. Ew, there's mold and rats. Rats don't live in attics. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Whatever, I'm not going to argue with you. Because you'll lose. Do you have plans tonight? No. Why? I'm having a sleepover, and I don't want you here when my friends are over. Oh, well. Have you ever been in our attic? Today, when we clean the attic out, it will be my first time. Last night I heard noises coming from it. It's probably your rats. Shut up. Did you leave the bathroom window open last night? No. Maybe Mom and Dad did. Maybe. Anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. Where are you going? I was going to go get dressed and head down to the park, but I'll be back in time to make your lunch. After lunch, we'll have to work on the attic. Promise you won't bother my friends and me? Deal. You know, we can find some really cool stuff up there. See you later, Derek.
Wow, this is pretty cool. I like old Hanukkah decorations in my attic. If you don't stop, I'm going to chop your nose off. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. Oh, yeah. Would you, you want it? it? No, you can have it. Really? I think it's less so you can have it. Okay. Thanks. Cool. Marcy, Tina, come here. What is it, Dan? I think it's a journal. Does it feel any colder in here to you guys by any chance? October 15, 1980. It's been a bad day for me. I didn't set the table tonight. Daddy hit me. Mommy didn't do anything. She just sat and watched as Daddy continued to beat me with his belt. Susan tried to stop him. Daddy hurt, hurt her. Hurt her real bad. Mama told me that she wasn't going to wake up ever again. Daddy hid her in the basement behind the wall. I'm not allowed to tell anyone. I'm getting more scared by the day. I fear that I will fall asleep next and never wake up. I fear that Daddy will come for me. Maybe Mommy too. But I know that Mommy or I won't be able to stop him. Soon we'll both be sleeping in the walls. Do you really think that's true? Okay, I'm freaked out. I hope not. Property of David Morris. Hey guys, I think I found something. What does this say? Ouija? Ouija? Mm. A Ouija board. Yeah, I've heard about these things somewhere. told you it was scary. We also found this. Well, we were wondering. No way. Come on, Desiree. I'm not doing it. Me either. After what you just read, I don't even want to sleep over anymore. I can't believe something like that would happen. It may only be a paragraph long, but that thing scared the daylights out of me. So, are you guys going to play or what? I'll play, but don't get mad at me if I piss in your carpet, because this stuff's really scary. Are you guys serious? You really want to contact the spirit of the little girl that was murdered here? Well, we actually don't know if we'll contact the little girl's spirit. It could be the brothers or the moms. Every night, I hear noises in this house. Things are never where I put them. Now, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that there's something in my house. It scares me. I just, I just have to be sure if David and his mother were also killed. We need four people to complete this circle. It's between you guys. One of you can play and one of you can sit out. As long as we make a protective circle, I'm sure we'll be fine. How do we do that? We make a circle of candles around us. I'll do it. Thank you, Desiree. You won't regret it. I already am. What am I supposed to do? Let's play. Why do we have to be in here? Because this is where the journal said the bodies are. That's it. I'm out of here. No, you don't. Remember what happens if you leave the circle? I'm scared. I'm scared, too, but you cannot leave. Guys, do we really have to do this? Yes. Now everyone, put your hands on. Who's going to ask the questions? I will. What's the boy's name again, though? David Morris. Are there any spirits with us? Nothing's happening. Try again, Desiree. David? Susan? Elvis? Come on, Desiree, stop playing around. This is serious. This is just a waste of time. It moved! I saw it! The car so moved! I saw it too. We all saw it. Go ahead, Desiree. David, is that you? Okay, so we know it's David, but just ask him if his sister's with him. Is Susie with you? 
Where is she? In heaven. Why isn't she with you, David? He has no unfinished business. You haven't finished business, David? Ask him what it is. What's your unfinished business? David? What do we just do? I'm really scared you guys. We disturbed his sleep. He's now awake. He will be coming for us. He'll be coming for me. Why you? He was in me, even though you guys may not believe me. I can feel him inside me right now, moving through my veins. He's a part of me now. I never should have ran out of the circle. This house is cursed. And I'm going to find out why. How? I have Mrs. Morris's address. Maybe she can help us. She's alive. You've lost it, Tina. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. We've all been marked. Whether you guys want to believe it or not. Then let's destroy the Ouija board. No way. Why not? That's our only way to communicate with David. We don't want to communicate with him. Why can't we just leave him alone? You can, but it won't do us any good. He won't leave us alone. Why? For what reason would David want to hurt us? He said his unfinished business was to kill the one who put him to sleep. That's his father. But where is his father now? That's why I think we should visit Miss Morris. She knows more about her family than anybody else does. What if she killed David? I don't want to enter a house of murder. She wasn't the murderer, it was her husband. It even said so in the journal he used to beat her and her children. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. You know I won't let you down, Tina. That's why I won't let you go by yourself. Thank you, Marcy. I'm really nervous, guys. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Hmm. What if she's not nice? Bridget, Sam's not nice. If you can put up with him, you can surely put up with Mrs. Morris. Are you sure this is the right place? Hmm. 14, 28, 15. Oh, it's right. Try to keep it cool, Bridget. Hello? Miss Morris? That's me. Hi, we're reporters from USA Weekly, and we were wondering if we could get a few words from you. Please come in. Every now and then reporters stop by. They mostly ask about my children's death, but I think you're here for something else. Yes, we're here to talk to you about your husband. What about him? But why was he so mean, Miss Morris? I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. But why did he used to hit you and your children? Please, I don't want to talk about it. We know he killed your daughter, but what about your son? Miss Morris. He tried to kill you, didn't he? We know your son's dead, Miss Morris. You contacted him. But how? How did you contact him? Miss Morris, I'm living in your old house. We found an old Ouija board in your attic, and then we used it. We contacted your son's spirit. But that's impossible! Your husband killed Susie and David, but he wanted to kill you too, but you got away. We found this too. Where did you get that? The attic. I thought I burned it along with the Ouija board.
to try to burn it with s'mores to keep him away. You guys may not realize it, but you've killed us all. What are you saying, Miss Morris? Find your friends. Save yourselves before it's too late. Save ourselves from her. I'm afraid I cannot say. Now get out of my house. But Miss Morris! I said get out. Now what? I know, I'm so confused. I mean, what if Disney really was the spirit that we contacted last night? Maybe she's trying to get revenge. Maybe David isn't really dead, like Miss Morris said. But what if it is David? We'll meet back at my place. But hurry, I don't feel like we're, we're going to have a lot more time. Get your black light now. Why? What's this about? Just shut up and get it! Tina, what's going on? Do it! Please be here. Hopefully the batteries will. I haven't used it in ages. I don't understand. They should be right here. Tina, what's going on? Last night we contacted David's spirit. The one from the journal? That David? Yeah, that David. And I think he's after us too. You've lost it, Tina. Completely lost it. <gasps> Help. What? Oh, do you believe me? I believe you. Where are the bodies?
butt base. What is it, Tina? That's where he's dead. in my house, an unknown presence of some sort. I don't know what it is, but I can't eat, I can't sleep. My whole body feels heavy. Derek's been acting strange too. Where do you live? The old Morris house. The Morris house? You know it? I knew the family. The wife, Gina Morris, came to me for advice. Her husband, Paul Morris, was apparently beating her. Miss Morris told me that he had killed the children and hid them in the walls. What became of her husband? Did she kill him? I don't know. What should I do, Father? I'll stop by tonight. I'll help you destroy this demon. Thank you, Father. Martina. Where are you going? I'm going to Colin's house. Derek, I think it would be better if you just stayed here. I can't stand this house anymore, Tina. I want out. I feel like I can't breathe when I'm here. I feel that something's wrong with me. Something I can't control. I want out. Okay? Yeah, just a little nervous. Will you show this remark? Of course it will. Take hands. Bless this house, O oh Lord, we pray. Keep it safe by night and day. Say it with me. Bless, Bless this house, O oh Lord, Lord, we pray. pray. Keep it safe by night and day. Bless this house, O Lord, we pray. Keep us safe by night and day. This isn't doing any good. We're gonna have to face him. What are you saying, Bridget? Are you insane? Hurry, Bridget! Climb up into the attic! Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
I'm sorry, David. I'm sorry about you, and I'm sorry about your sister, but please don't take it out on us. Please, David, just leave us alone. David? David Morris? David. Father Karras! Tina, get out of here!
which in heart and heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us who trespass and those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. We need to talk. I'm sorry about your brother. You know? 20 years ago, Miss Morris killed David and Susie. He hid their bodies in the downstairs basement. He hid them in the wall. I knew eventually he'd be after Miss Morris. What did Miss Morris do? He came home drunk one rainy night. He attacked her. Once he passed out, she went out to the shed, got an axe, and chopped him into little pieces. She hid his body in the walls of the house, and later removed the bodies of her children from the basement. She gave them a proper burial at All Saints Cemetery. She never wanted anything but the best for her children. As long as her husband's dead, she can live in peace. That was Mr. Morris' spirit that we contacted that night. Wasn't it? He's the one that possessed Derek. Derek must have been watching you and your friends during the seance. Mr. Morse's spirit must have jumped from Desiree's body and possessed him. So Derek was forced to kill everyone. Mr. Morse forced him to do it. Yes, but he's gone now. He can now burn in hell. Foolish girl. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Father cares what happened. <gasps> Derek wasn't the killer. I was there from the beginning. I was the killer all along. I trusted you. It had to be done. The man who killed David and Susie wasn't their father. He was their stepfather. Oh my gosh, it was you. You were their father. Exactly. I had to take revenge for my children. He murdered them like animals. <laughs> I later killed my ex-wife just after you visited with her. She didn't stop that man she married from killing my children. Our children. come after us. It's been 20 years. I couldn't let you and your friends discover the truth. Ah! Help! But it's not too late. You can end this. No! It's time.
Tina.